Do jellyfish ever get jealous that there are no peanut butter fish? Hello and welcome to my first Minecraft video. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm wanting to show you guys one of my, or my only, solo world. Um, it is on 1.20.1 uh, uh, because the mod I'm using is not fully updated. And yes, I am using mods, nothing that breaks the game though. Um, ignore that it says 70 mods, I don't know why it says that. But yeah, let's get into it. So, the main mod I'm using is the Minecraft Comes Alive. Uh, I know what I'm doing, I don't. Uh, my friend does. Uh, <laughs> is the Minecraft Comes Alive mod. Now what this does basically is it makes the village hello loading okay makes the villagers a bit more interesting. Oh, there's one over there. She's kind of hiding. Um, yeah, they they can look like actual people. Uh, there's a big variety in what they look like. Um, as you can see, I'm also using texture packs. This is multiple layered on each other. It's a little broken slowly like manually editing the files to fix this but um not too worried about it um yeah minecraft comes alive the villagers look more interesting they're more interactive as well and this is my village hazel Foot, right up here um is my house restricted meaning i set it to where the villagers cannot set their homes here that, so they will try and sleep in my bed um except for one that i manually set the home to uh i don't know where that one is did i put them in the basement what did i do with them did i set them to live in the village i do not remember um Alright, so... Okay, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Anyway, um, that one is- you- you can adopt, uh, kids in this game, and I adopted that one. So the one that was living in my house is my kid. I also have texture packs for, uh, uh custom, uh, uh, mob models. I really love the golem. Looks like a Wendigo, I love it. Um, I also have a, um, a data pack that affects the terrain, uh, generation. So, so those mountains are very custom, um, and if we were to follow this river back, uh, we have cave rivers, and they are super cool. I'm gonna have to show them later in the video. Uh, but here's a tour of my village. That's my house. Got some trees growing around. Dogs. I have one cat. Yeah, just one. I don't think I have more. My horse. Pretty sad arm. Um. Look, look. Rin. I know y'all saw that. When making a world, it gives you an option for genetics, because technically, in this mod, you can romance the villagers and have kids with them, so it mostly affects what the kid might look like, unless you want to use the genetics thing as your player thing, and I was like, you know what, if I have a kid, they get in the best genetics from me. So that explains uh, what everyone's thinking about right now. Oh, it's still there. I don't, okay. Well, anyway. Oh yeah, my skin. Just a, just a nice kitty cat. Got a tail. Just pretty fancy. I did not realize it would affect my actual skin when creating it, and it's too late to edit it, I think. If someone plays this mod and knows a way to uh, change that, let me know. Hi! Oh no, your 
you're gloomy. Well, I mean, right now you're overjoyed, but your personality is gloomy. Oh, yeah, you're a child. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. Paper. Oh, I lost. They went with. They went. They went with scissors. Wait, did I click scissors or paper? I don't remember. Anyway, uh, this is the storage house. Every now and then, the villagers will pay me tax. Um, so it's just emeralds. It's nothing too fancy. Here's another one of them. They they can have some pretty interesting names. Um, got a little farm here for the farming villager. And most of this village uh, was generated naturally. I fixed up some of the paths. Um, all the way over here, though, across the water, is where my custom builds really start. So, I'm expanding the village, uh, and that shows in this. It used to be like super tiny in this area, but now it's spread out to this big area, uh, thanks to these other houses I've been adding. This little house where a couple of people live, the inn, and the inn is actually where adventurers and people I can hire and, like, um, cultists can show up. Um, let's see, I think there was, are you a guard? Hi! You're a guard, so you're part of my, uh, rumors. Found a sunken ship. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Yeah, uh, if you talk to the villagers, they can give you information, uh, like where structures are, um, but it, it's pretty limited to, like, the nearest possible structure. Uh, so they've told me about a couple villages, one over there, which I already knew about, and one over there, um, which I used to populate the village, since it, with this mod, it takes a lot longer for villagers to reproduce, because they need to, like, romance each other, marry each other. You can also set them up to marry each other, but that's like a whole thing that I had trouble figuring out. What are you doing? Hi! <laughs> well, you can stare at a sheep. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Anyway. Uh, Hello. Archer. Mm. Gonna redecorate your house. Very nice. So let me show. This is the inside of the inn. It is, in fact, from a tutorial. This is not my building skill level. I wish. Good lord, I wish. Um. Why are you here? None of you are adventurers. So yeah, as you can see, some of them can be taller than the others, as you probably saw a moment ago. Uh, upstairs is where we have the rooms uh, for adventurers to be in. Like, Hi there. Come on, you're an adventurer. Is that how it's spelled? Interesting. Talk. So I can hire, ask to stay, and all the other random stuff. You better... You just watch yourself. I'm a wanted man. Oh snap. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'm not gonna talk to you. <coughs> Scary. No one in here. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone in those rooms. Yeah. Um. Sorry about that. I am back. Alrighty. So yeah, show me the village. Um, there's not really much else to it. Um, whenever I add in a building, I can open a blueprint. For example, if I come over here, it won't count, but this will be a building. I think it's a tutorial. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a medic house. Anyway, uh, I just open the blueprint, go to um, advanced, add building, and it would register a building right next to the inn. Um, and depending on the... Uh, blocks in it, it could be different things. Um, la where is the infirmary? I need these blocks in the building for it to count as an infirmary. <laughs> yeah, and you can hear the villagers sometimes have laughing 
audios going or just greetings. Nothing too uh, intricate. But yeah, I've worked pretty hard on this village to light it up, keep it safe, build it. Um, yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself for this. And I'm having a lot of fun. So lately I have been mostly playing on a server with some friends. Um, I don't know about recording that for you guys, but I wasn't sure if that would be okay, and I didn't really feel like asking. So I figured, eh, I'll show off my solo one. Hmm. Oh yeah, they have snoring voice lines. So I'm going to sleep, and then I will head over to the uh, cave over. I guess in editing, I'll just go to that. So I'll see you there. Okay, never mind, never mind, because I really want to show you Enderman. Enderman, with the mod I'm using to make, uh, to make mobs look different. Oh my god, Enderman is so good. Oh, oh, I wish this was actually what they looked like. Oh, so cool. Alright, well, over to the cave. Alrighty, we are almost to the cave. Uh, so those mountains are the same mountain range as uh, back near the village. Uh, we're only a couple hundred blocks, I think. Uh, I didn't really check. But let's make a boat real quick. Oh yeah, squid look different, fish look different. I love these ones. Not, not resource pack. Uh, yeah, uh, I will be link. I will be linking uh the re the main resource packs and mods that I use uh in the description below if you want to check them out. Uh, the terrain one it, uh, was actually worked on by one of my friends, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So you can see the beginnings of the cave. You can see how it's like an overhang. Uh, it's not really blended all that great, but I mean, I can't really complain. I think it still looks awesome. And it's not just this. Uh, it's pretty dark so you can't see it, but it's a whole tunnel. It's so cool. Alright, let's just fast forward until I get over there. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you how how nice is this? This feels so cozy. Oh, I love this. Uh, so we're not gonna go I mean I guess we could just go back there. Not really difference. Yeah, let's go back here. I don't think I've gone down this gate. Oh, it opens up to the other side. So yeah, usually uh, these will always have at least two openings to make it a full tunnel, a full cave. Man, I love these. They are so I would. Uh, I was obsessed when my friend was showing uh, the friend group this. Oh, that's so cool. You see, I've got a bunch of planes over here, and I think there's some something off that way. Or that way? No, Savannah's that way because that's the dark oak. I don't know. I haven't played this uh, world in a while. Uh, but I might if you guys want to see how I progress in it. So, yeah. That is my. That is my progress in my modded solo, solo world in 1.20.1. I hope you all liked it. Bye-bye!